Greetings and salutations everyone, I am as always Darth Devious, bringing you another video review, this time the Robots in Disguise Wheeljack from Transformers Prime. Now if you saw my recent unboxing, you know I got this from Optibotomus. Again, thank you very much, Paul, you are an awesome friend. Thank you, thank you so much. So we'll take a quick look at his packaging. You see him in there with his two swords. Double battle swords. You know, standard prime packaging. Watch Transformers on TV, on the Hub Network. You know, Wheeljack, Deluxe Series 1, number 3. Here's his stats if you want to read them. You can pause it. In the back, you got product shots. Here's his bio if you want to read it. You can pause it. Okay. See him there? He looks really cool. I can't wait to get him out of the package. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to get him out of the package, and we're going to take a closer look at this guy. Alright, be back in a few. Okay, everyone, here's Wheeljack out of his package, and as you can see, he has a very nice car mode. I really like this a lot. Um, it does evoke... A lot of the aesthetic of the G1 toy, which is nice, while being modern and its own version, you know, so to speak. Not too much kibble. I mean, if you flip it over, you know, these are his legs, but that's about all you see. And even that's not that much. Then you could mistake him for struts just underneath the uh, car and... This, this here could almost be, uh, you know, the differential between the rear wheels if it was just a little bit further back. <clears throat> so they actually did a real good job with that. He got his swords here, and yeah, everybody shows the uh, plug in the swords here. You know. And you get another attack car of death. I don't know how effective that would be. But, um, you don't want him there. And Timey, I'm pointing this out to you because he did miss this, saying that uh, he didn't, th didn't know there was anywhere else to store him. And it's actually in the instruction sheet. But there are pegs on the bottom here if you don't want to store them. You can see they have a little gap molded right there. So the sword plugs in there. Same thing on this side. And you see? And they cleanly store on the bottom. See that? Still rolls. No problem whatsoever. So, let's uh, get him transformed into his robot mode and take a better look at him. Stay. Okay, so here we have Wheeljack in his robot mode, looking really cool. Now, the instructions uh, say to do his arms like that. And when you do that, he gets really massive gorilla arms. Now, I know the original toy had the gorilla arms, but really, I'm not crazy about that gorilla arm look. It does give him an extra joint. But really, does he need an elbow joint that high? Not really. So, I kind of keep him like this. You still get your regular elbow joint here. 
and he doesn't quite have the super gorilla arms. So we'll go over his articulation real quick. His head's on a nice ball joint. Get some nice poses. He can look straight up. Look even look down a little bit. So that's not too bad. Shoulders are on a ball joint and they have an extra joint in there for rotating inwards which is supposed to replace a bicep swivel which sadly he's lacking and that really hampers some of the movement in his arms. It's probably the one strike I have against this figure is that he doesn't have a bicep swivel. Uh, he has almost enough joints to make up for it but mm, I really wish he'd have it. He has a nice hinged and ball jointed wrist. Now that is nice because he can get some nice movement from that. No waist. He does have the upper thigh, swivel, ball jointed hips, nice knee, ball jointed foot so you can get some good stable poses out of him. So he's really cool, you know. He is. I still think Ratchet's a little bit better, especially with his added articulation. And just because I'm a Jeffrey Combs fan, and you, you, know, you gotta respect the Combs. His swords, he can hold his swords, you know. If you don't want to store them, if you don't want them to hold them, you want to store them. Right here, there's a space. These slide in perfectly. So you got that bone form. Alright, so he's one that you should buy. I'll give him that. We'll get him in here with some of the others so we can compare him in size. You know, here he is with Optimus. You know, and being a deluxe, he's a lot smaller. Bumblebee. Not too bad. Good old Ratchet. And Little Miss RC. Now I got a nice uh, collection here going of these Prime figures. The only one I really want now is a bulkhead. I'd do just about anything to get myself a first edition bulkhead. I don't think it's going to happen, but it would be nice. So let's get everybody out of here. Oh, question is, Wheeljack, yes or no? Definite, yes. This was given to me by Mr. Optobotamus, which I really appreciate him. Thank you again, Paul. And I'm glad I finally have him in my collection. He is one of the top three of the Prime figures we've gotten so far. And for me, my top three is Ratchet, Wheeljack, and RC. They are the three best molds we've gotten. So, yeah, I like him, like him a lot, I recommend him, he's cool, he's Wheeljack, what more can you say? So that's going to do it for this one, as always, be good, the Jackhammer is watching you. Alright, another Wheeljack. Has the Cosmotron convention started already? What the hell are you talking about? Why, you don't know what a Cosmotron is? Of course I know what a Cosmotron is. I just don't know what the hell you're talking about. What convention? Only the greatest convention known to machine. The Cosmotron convention. All wheeljacks. Ugh. I gotta get off this planet. Idiot. Huh. That was one rude wheeljack. Hey, another wheeljack! Welcome to the wheeljack convention! Hey, thanks!